Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Alright, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. It feels like things are moving in a really positive direction after something quite um, challenging. You know, I feel like you are probably, you know, having a lot of different experiences that are not only revealing the truth about yourself, but also the truth about other people in your life. I feel like the Saturn return in Pisces, um, especially if you do have Saturn in your Pisces placement, I feel like there's a lot going on within your emotions towards others and maybe how that connects to the way you see the world. For some reason, I feel like a lot of you are having major revelations at this time and this moment in particular maybe your current energy is really resonating with the fact that things are getting better not just for you but also for your overall world perspective like i really think that your uh, mind is starting to become more um i just feel like you're putting yourself first but it's it's more like you in learning more about other people you're realizing okay when i'm in this particular situation i know that i have to do this when i'm confronted with this person i know that i need to be this way it's like you're realizing that how you react to certain situations is your best defense mechanism because you're not going to give power to people that don't deserve it you're not going to give power to situations that don't serve you and so you're learning how to almost navigate the world through your your own power um and that's honestly a skill that we only learn through soul searching, through really looking deep within. And you as an intuitive person, Pisces, you're all about really looking within and finding the magic in things. But also when it's time to look at the truth and when it's time to really see something for what it really is, you do this amazing thing where you're able to like almost make perfect sense of it for yourself like if no one else understands that's fine you get it and maybe sometimes that's why pisces is known to be like you know the very dreamy fantasy um like zodiac sign right like you're always associated with dreaming sleeping fantasy and it's not because you live in a fantasy world but it's because the way that you see things works so well for you that maybe to others it's a fantasy right like i feel like you're not understood in that way where it's like you don't people don't realize that pisces just has a very beautiful way of seeing the truth and so you're able to interpret that and analyze that in a way that benefits you in the long run. And so it's not that you're in a fantasy world, you're just able to see it differently. And I feel like Will of Fortune and the star at the bottom of the deck is saying there's hope. Yeah, like you're seeing things in a way that works for you and that's giving you a lot of good feelings. You're seeing a path in front of you where maybe others don't see it. Um, we have the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords, and Page of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there was recently, maybe, you know, just the other day, you were going through something and it felt like you were stuck. It felt like there was no way out. And you were just like, man, I think, you know, this is as good as it's going to get. I can't find a solution. And then suddenly out of nowhere, and I'm sorry if you heal, if you hear that noise, it's, um, there's, they're picking up the garbage. But um i feel like you were like you know what no i'm not going to give up on this i'm going to find a solution and that's exactly what you did i feel like you went quickly from this eight of swords to maybe feeling defeated or stuck or limited in some way to no i'm not going to stop there i'm not giving up page of swords you found another way you found a solution here five of swords tells me that this could have been in relation to a conflict with someone else maybe someone that you're close to maybe a partner a friend or a family member and it really feels, Pisces, that this person wanted to win at all costs and you were not going to let that happen because you have too much on the line. You have something here that you care about and I feel like this person just doesn't see that and you, instead of letting them have it and letting them win, you were like, no, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to find my way through this. And Three of Wands is saying now you have this, this entire like path in front of you. You've found the solution to the point where you're able to make movement. You're creating momentum and truly walking away from this, but with so much dignity and just clarity about the entire thing. All right, let's clarify the Five of Swords. Yeah, like definitely what I'm getting, Pisces, is that somebody here just did not understand you. And for the first time, like with this particular person, you didn't care that they didn't understand you. Maybe in the past, 
you would care and you would try hard to make them see your perspective and see your point. But this time, you know what? There's something about you where you're just like, you know what? I don't care. Because you know that in trying to make them get you, you would feel trapped. You would feel like this is a chore. You would feel like it was torture to put all of your energy in trying to get someone else to see your perspective when you know clearly that that is the way to go. So we have the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is you feeling that passion. This is you saying, no, I'm standing up for this and I'm going to walk away from it because I don't care if you don't get me. Um, and we also have the Sun, Page of Wands, and the Tower to further clarify that Five of Swords. I feel like not only is this you saying, I'm not going to let you win, but it's also you saying, I'm going to be the one that wins here. I'm going to be the winner. It's really you feeling validated, feeling happy and satisfied with how you handled the entire situation and seeing the positive that comes out of it. I feel like not only did you find a solution, but you found your way out of something seriously um, debilitating. It feels like you were stuck in more than one way because of something here. It feels like you were feeling like you had no other option because somebody here was trying to make you believe that you had no other option. So I feel like you really found your way out. You found your solution. You found your path. And the tower is really saying that not only is this something that has been a long time coming, but it also feels like this is the perfect time for you to do that. It feels like now is a good time to make this change, to go towards this horizon. I feel like it's a very, very good time to do that because of I don't know, just the energy surrounding this. Like maybe you're finally prepared to take that leap. Maybe you're finally, you have the resources to do what you need to do now. It's like something about this. Everything is working in your favor. Everything. So let's go ahead and clarify the three of wands. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, you have been through such a huge tower moment. Um, something that really probably felt like you were shaken to the core. I feel like somebody caused you a lot of pain or, you know, feelings of sadness. Maybe some of you have just kind of uh, come out of a dark night of the soul. I'm having trouble speaking because of how like strong this energy is. I feel like now that you're looking towards the future and you're taking those steps, you're, you're kind of looking back to how you felt and you're like, this is why I'm doing this because I never want to feel that way again. I never want to go through that again. I'm ready to be in a completely different you know, environment here. And you're just stepping into this place where like nothing and no one can stop you. We have the star, the hierophant, and the emperor to further clarify the three of wands. This path is not only yours for the taking, but there's also something very, very um, long lasting about it. I feel like you're committing to something here. You're committing to yourself, you're committing to your future, but you're also committing to a change in your life that is going to give you a feeling of hope. I feel like you're going to feel like this very big energy of like refreshment, right? Like this is something so new and so good for you. And you're also giving yourself the power as well. I feel like you have been wanting to go your own way for some time now, but whoever you were dealing with didn't want you to do that. Like maybe you are trying to leave your, I don't know, maybe this is not a good example, but maybe, you know, you're trying to leave your parents home or you're trying to leave, um, you know, someone that was trying to keep you in their bubble so that you didn't have freedom or something like that. And now you're just like, you know what, I'm going to take my power back. I get to live my life the way that I want to. You're really becoming this version of yourself that doesn't allow others to dictate the way that your life is going. And I feel like whatever you're doing here is going to give you so much peace that you're going to be able to start to really make changes for yourself that lead you to the type of things you want to experience. Maybe some of you want to, you know, go after a particular job or career, or maybe you want to move to a particular city, but you couldn't do it before because whoever you were dealing with was limiting you so much that you didn't have the mental clarity to think to go in that direction and really give yourself that option. But now it feels like the complete opposite and you're free and it's a freedom that is both mental and physical because I feel like you're able to physically move away from this person whereas before you were just stuck and you were just feeling like wow they, they have so much control over me they have so much power over me but now you're just like no more I need to put myself first I need to make myself happy here all right let's clarify one more let's clarify the page of swords Right. 
so we have the fool at the bottom of the deck which i really feel like is you just saying i'm so ready to take this leap of faith i'm so ready to go on this journey here and just completely walk away from this totally like limiting situation we also have the death at the bottom of the deck so this is you i'm ready to close a chapter i'm ready to start a new one it's like so crystal clear how your energy is coming out and it's absolutely beautiful so we also have four of wands two of cups and the lovers like if this doesn't say things are going to get better then i don't know what does two of cups the lovers four of wands you're going to be so happy to the point where you may even find the love of your life it's like this change brings so much abundance it's like you're connecting to your higher self you're connecting to what you really want you're attracting the things that you want you're attracting love you're attracting happiness you're getting to that point where you can finally see things change you, you finally get to close this cycle of just pain and suffering and being controlled and you get to live your life how you want to pisces this is amazing this is so amazing this is like beyond anything that i could have like ever expected from a reading like this because it started out so like just very raw and honest like i feel this way this is going on but then it slowly went to but no i'm gonna fight back and now it's like this is such a beautiful um outcome i just i hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one